How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. So with all this bad weather that's moving through right now, had terrible storms in the upper Midwest last night, going to have terrible storms in like Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois today, uh, extending out uh, up into like the, the northeast of the country, and just really bad sporadic weather in different areas over the next few days in general. I've been thinking a lot about disaster mitigation for our reef tanks. Now, I think about this stuff more than the average person, probably. I'm really interested in, like, disaster mitigation, weather, that sort of thing, and, like, how it could impact the hobby and, and us as reef keepers. But I want to show you, because I haven't yet, I just haven't had time to get around to it, I want to show you what I'm doing for, like, immediate disaster mitigation on my main reef tank, which you're looking at right now. What I'm using for this is the EcoFlow Delta II lithium iron phosphate battery station or power station as they would call it. So this power station uh, has been lights out good for me. It's 1024 watt hours, I believe. I'm trying to remember the stats on this thing. Right now it's on sale for $499 um, on Amazon, eBay, you know, different, different, uh, Different major resellers are selling it for about four ninety nine. They've they've gone on, they've gone on sale and they've gone on sale several times. Here's what you're getting. So I run a Neptune uh, Core fifteen return pump that I have a Core twenty adapter for that I plug into one of the AC jacks on the back here. At twenty five watts of draw, I get twenty seven hours of runtime for my primary return pump on the tank. So my tank's going to have flow, and not just like flow in the display, flow through this sump, like a full, full sumped flow all the way into the display tank and then back down and up for 27 hours while I scramble around and, you know, prime my generator and, you know, act like the suburban dad that I am and try to get other, other contingency plans in motion if the power outage goes on for that long. So uh, this device... It's not super heavy, considering the amount of battery that you're getting in this thing. It's quite mobile. It's got dual handles on it, so you can pick it up and move it around real easy. You can see the color of it is just like a muted black and gray. It's trying to blend in, which I really appreciate. You see it next to the AquaWiz, and you're like, yeah, clearly one is trying to be sleeker and blend in more than the one that's trying to get noticed, right? <laughs> and on the back here, and I apologize, the lighting in this room is pretty dim, so I'll get up close. Look at all the ports on this thing. So you've got your main power port here to power up the unit, and it will just, by the way, worth noting, it will just run, so it, when, it's, when it's plugged in, it's providing pass-through power to my return pump, right? The second that power goes off, or the second that I unplug it for any reason, it immediately, instant switch over to battery power and then if you plug it back in or power is restored it just continues on also of critical note if it runs down to zero percent and turns off and then the power comes back on it resumes powering the unit and when it powers up to five percent it reactivates and remembers everything it was doing and it will run your return pump again so if you're away, you don't have to worry about it draining to zero and totally deactivating. It will come back to life and resume what it was doing before. That's a really, really important point about the EcoFlow river units and delta units, right? Back to these ports. We've got one, two, three, four uh, small AC ports, two full-size AC ports. Uh, we've got uh, DC hookup right here. Uh, there is solar right there where you can plug this, uh, plug a solar panel into this if you would like. So you've got a full complement of options uh, on the back of this thing. And one of the things I like about it is that those ports are on the opposite side from the actual display itself. So on the front, you've just got your small ports, right? You've got your standard USB A's, you've got fast charge USB A's, you've got two USB C's, right and then you've got the display itself which is going to show you how many hours are left obviously mine's plugged in it's going to show you the wattage draw it's going to sh give you a like you know actual uh display of like a, how much battery uh, capacity is left as it's being drained just everything that you would need to know is right there the second you hit the button 
Also, I've had videos about many EcoFlow devices and a couple of videos about the app. I'm not going to show you the app in this video, but the app for these devices, just the EcoFlow app in general, is incredible. And there are Android and iOS widgets available for the app. So you can see at a glance what all of your EcoFlow devices are doing. And you can like custom control so many different settings uh, when you go into the, the EcoFlow app and connect all your devices to that. I really love that functionality. I love like a one-stop place so that I can see everything going on with all my EcoFlows because I own four of these now, not of these, but I've got uh, three different river units connected to my other tanks and then the big boy, the Delta II base unit connected to my main tank. So I want to be able to see what's going on with all of it at once. If you stay in the EcoFlow family, you can kind of see everything that's going on all at a glance and control any kind of settings that you need to. And they're Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable, which is pretty incredible. So uh, drawbacks of this unit, the only thing I have found, there are fan ports here, here, and on the other side, you have, you have two more fan port, ports. Now, are they crazy loud? No. But I try to run my tank pretty quiet. So when we're in the living room, and we're watching like a quiet movie or we're like reading or whatever. And then those fans pop on because periodically the EcoFlow will let itself drain a couple percent and then and then click on and, and go back up to 100% capacity. You can hear the fans. It's not like, you know, it's not some like a jet engine or anything. But you can hear them hum for like a like a muted hum for like five minutes while it goes back up to that 100%. And then obviously, if this thing were drawing power because, uh, because it was charging itself back up, then you're going to hear the fans for a pro prolonged period. But you may occasionally hear the fans click on a couple times a week for like five minutes to get it back up to 100%. To me, it's not a big deal. Some reef keepers have way worse rabbit ears than I do, so just be fully aware. Um, I have heard that the EcoFlow Delta 3, which is the new model, has quieter fans, or at least I've seen reports of that. So that's more expensive. It's a couple hundred dollars more. Uh, this is technically the previous uh, iteration of the unit. I'd recommend this for the price. I love the value of it. You know, to hear a fan noise for 10 combined minutes a week while I'm in my space and get almost all the same functionality with just a, a couple of cool new features left out, I'm willing to go $4.99 for the sale price and get this and know that I'm good for 8 to 10 years. This thing's just going to operate like a like the beast LFP battery it is. Uh, but if you're looking for the latest and greatest, there is a Delta 3 that I don't see myself getting. But uh, it does improve a little bit on the EcoFlow Delta 2, just for the record. But anyhow, being incredibly, incredibly happy with this unit. Just wanted to update, you know, some of you guys I, I talked to uh, who follow me, uh, you guys knew that I had this unit and I'd been beating around the bush to get a video out on it. This isn't like some full review or anything. It's just me talking about the unit and with the importance of being prepared for weather in the United States, like what's going on right now. And the long track data shows that are weather in the United States, whether it's hurricane season, tornadoes, flooding. I mean, you could just look at the track record of the last five years. It's getting worse generally, like, you know, every year, couple years. And it's not really going back the other direction to where it was like relatively calm most of the time. It's, it's getting gradually worse due to a variety of factors. So I encourage you. Get something on your tank. If not this, just a simple River 2 or River 3. Get something on your tank to buy you time so you can scramble around and figure out your generator, borrow a generator from a family member, etc. Um, gotta have it, guys. The, the, the fish and coral deserve it. I mean, they're living creatures, right? All right, everybody. Take it easy.